Don't forget before you go to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoy. <laughs> guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl shantae and in today's video i wanted to share this makeup look with you i got a new eyeshadow palette so i wanted to plan a little makeup today if you're interested in just how i got this look make sure that you stick around for the video don't forget before you go to give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and turn on your notification bell so that you won't miss that look for me so first i'm going to go ahead and slide my bonnet back just a little bit to get it out of my face i've already prepped the skin which i've cleansed my face i've used my moisturizer I've on my sunscreen so that's already done it's actually been done for a little bit now I did go in and hydrate my lips a little bit with the Vaseline lip therapy I like using this a lot during the morning and um, any time throughout the day if I'm home I just like to apply that to my lip just so they'll stay a little moisturized so first off we're gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrows up with this brush here it's the Morphe by Nikita in 7 brush I really like this brush because it has the spoolie end as well as the little fine end on the opposite end. And for the fine end, I like to go in under my eyebrows and clean them up a little bit. That's pretty much all I do there. Then I'll go in with this same brush and I'll take my Laying Low by MAC, which I've shared several times. You can keep your I'm gonna make a better. That I've gotten that on a little bit I like to go in with this brush here it doesn't have a number or anything on this brush but I purchased this brush years ago from BH cosmetics so I like to sometimes take this and go over like such just to blend that in a little bit more and then I'll go in with my primer so today for primer on the lid I'm gonna be using the P Louise base in numeral 2 I really like using this. Stay on my job. Then I'll go back in with the same brush here just to brush that in. Alright, so after I put that all over the lid, I like to go in with some kind of um, setting powder. Um, lately, I've been using the Laura Mercier setting powder here. And I'll just take a little bit with this little BH Cosmetic brush as well. Has no number, no name. I just take and add a little to my lid. Now, with the P. Louise base, I will say that you do not have to do that. But I'm just so used to applying some type of powder on my primer for my lid. So, I just normally still go in with just a little bit. Then, after that, we're going to go ahead and do a little eyeshadow. So today I thought I would share a new eyeshadow palette that I purchased recently. I got it from Beauty Bay. I love Beauty Bay formula in their eyeshadow. So I thought I would share this one with you. This one here is the Love Notes. It just recently came out. It retails for $15, which is a good price for an eyeshadow palette. This here is a 20 color palette. Amazing. On the outside of the box, it looks just like a envelope. So that is sweet. And it was released this month for Valentine. This is how the actual palette looks. Just pulled up to the I think it is such a gorgeous palette. Now this palette does have a lot of pastel looking colors in it. Um, it has a couple of dark colors as well. So I'm going to turn it upside down just so that the mirror won't be blinding. But as you can see it has like your pink tones in here. Then you have like your neutrals. You have like a burgundy or reddish look. I would say more so burgundy. And then you have some purples right in here. This is a nice palette. And I like that they included the neutral section as well, just in case if you didn't want to have a bold look and you just want to do something neutral, you can get that out of this palette. So I thought for today, I would do something probably more so in this section over here. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe by Nikita in five brush. It's just like a little fluffy brush. I'm going to take and I think I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is the color Angel. I'm going to apply that all over like my lid and it looks kind of light so I don't know how that's gonna work with this base 
I love the way that Beauty Bay eyeshadows blend in. Whenever they have like those palettes that come out for the 20 pan palettes, I should say for $15, you should hop on it because their quality of the eyeshadows are amazing. Oh guys, I almost forgot. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has joined my channel, that has subscribed to my channel, liked my videos. Your girl has finally reached her 1K mark. I reached it a little while ago, but this is actually the first video that I am sitting down to film in 2022. So I just wanted to make sure that I say a big and huge thank you to you all for subscribing to my channel. It really do mean a lot to me. And I wanna send a special thank you to my girl, as Co because when I was at right at 900 and I think 94 or either 996 and I posted a video she shared it on her stories and she made sure that she said to people to you know go subscribe to my channel get me to my 1k mark and before I knew it, I was to 1k thanks to her and everyone else that have subscribed to my channel I'm so appreciative to all of that and it really means a lot and I just want to go up from here. So yeah, let me just stop rambling and get back to the video. But yeah, it takes a while to get to that 1K mark and to get those watch hours. So next we're gonna go ahead and move into the color Cheeks, which is right here on the end. We're gonna take the Morphe by Nikita N3 brush and it's a fluffy brush as well, but it's a little bit smaller than the previous fluffy brush I used. So that's gonna be good for going into my crease area. Just pulled up to the house Oh, you guys I keep forgetting everything but I am currently filming on a new camera thanks babe so I have a new camera and I have a new lens or lenses I should say and I'm also recording on a mic now which I purchased that from Best Buy so you guys are gonna have to tell me what you think because this is my first video and until I go back and watch it I'm not gonna know how everything Thing turned out so as you can see I'm just going back and forth until I get the color payoff that I want then we're gonna use this color down here which is called Ruby just to darken up the outer edge and I'm gonna use the same Morphe by Nikita brush in three just to darken up the outer edge a little bit you can keep your I'm liking how that's looking so far. All right, guys, we're gonna go back with the Morphe by Nikita N5 brush. I'm gonna go back into the very first shade that I used, which was Angel. And I'm gonna just go back across the top just to help blend in that top area. I'm liking how this is looking so far. Next, we're gonna go ahead on the lid and add like one of the shimmer colors. I think I was kind of debating between Bellini and Confetti, which Bellini is this color here. And Confetti is this color here. So I was leaning between those two, but I really think that I'm gonna go with Bellini. This is the um, Morphe by Nikita N2 brush. So it's like a little flat brush and apply the color on the lid. And I think I wanna go in with a base first. Yeah, just to brighten it up a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna take the P. Louise numeral zero base and we're gonna apply that to the lid. Come in. I'm recording a video, so yeah. You eat your snack. Yeah, All right, let me finish this. You you can play until I finish, okay? Uh, let's see. All right, I have my base on, so now I'm gonna go in with the color Bellini, which is right here, and apply that all over my lid. I will say that picking it up with a brush, it is kind of hard to get on the brush. I did not spray my brush. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. I think that is really looking good. I'm just gonna take the Morphe by Nikita N3 brush and just go in on the edge to blend the two colors together. No harsh line, ladies. So the eyes are looking pretty good. I think I'm satisfied with the look that I've created. So we're gonna go ahead on in and do a little black 
eyeliner. And today, of course, I'm using my LA Colors eyeliner. Before I apply the eyeliner, I am going to just straighten up my edge a little bit around my eyeshadow. So I normally take just a cotton pad, my micellar water. So we're gonna go ahead on in and prep the skin for the foundation. So I'm gonna apply my Maybelline Baby Skin, all time favorite instant pour eraser. You can keep your bitter. For primer today, I'm gonna use the One Size Secure the Blur Primer. So we're gonna go ahead on in with the eyeliner. So for foundation today, I am using the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the number 17. I have been loving using this foundation here. I was worried about whether or not the color was gonna match me, but to me it matches pretty good. And I'm gonna be using the Believe Beauty Foundation Brush. I like how this works with this foundation. And this is a buildable foundation, so you can build it up. So now that we got the foundation on, we're gonna go ahead and put a little concealer on. And for concealer today, I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Concealer. I have the number 10, and then I have the number 15. 10 is a little bit darker than the 15, so I like to mix the two together for my under eyes as well as my nose and chin. This concealer here is so thick. I really like it. I'ma make a better I do think that you have to move a little bit fast with these concealers here. I really do think I need the shade um, 13. And I was just using this beauty blender here. I do believe that this one is from the Japanese line. And then I'm gonna take my one size beauty powder and apply on the areas that I just concealed. I do like the one size beauty set and powder, but I do not care too much for the way the top is. You guys can't even see it, but it has like that little rectangle shape. And you guys, I truly don't like the way that that comes out. Going back in with my BH Cosmetics brush. But now that we have our powder on, we're gonna go ahead and let that sit just a little bit while I go ahead and do my top lashes. I don't even know if I share, but this eyeshadow here is by Morphe. Now we're gonna go in and pat in the powder. So I'm just gonna take this BH Cosmetic brush. It is a powder brush, it has no number. I'm using my Dior powder, which I do love, in the number six in. And I'm just gonna go and put that on everywhere that I did not conceal it. I'm gonna go ahead on in with my bronzer to bronze up the face a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my Sephora bronzed bronzer. It is a matte bronzer and it's in the number 06 Ibiza. This is how she looks. And with this, I'm gonna use another BH Cosmetic brush. It's like the little angle brush for bronzer and contouring. Now this bronzer here is a little on the dark side for me. So what I normally like to do is tap in it a little bit and then I like to dust it off. Give it a good. We'll take my beauty blender and sometimes just go along the edge just to help blend that in even more. All right, so once I've done that, I normally will go in and just um, like wipe off my eyebrows a little bit. Give a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your then I'll go in and apply my um, eyeliner to my waterline. I normally like to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in the color black. Then I will go in and set my face. Today for setting spray, I'm gonna be using the Pore Professional Super Setter. 
Then we're gonna take my handy dandy one size fan to dry the face. So while I'm drying my face, I normally like to take a softer sponge or a different sponge and pat over my face with the sponge to set in any more of the setting spray that's on the face while it's drying. So, face is looking pretty good. Everything is coming together. So after that, then I'll go ahead on my bottom lash. Today, I'm just using this Estee Lauder mascara here. I'ma just lay back and crack this window. For lips today, just gonna keep it simple. I don't even know what I wanted to do on my lips. So I did grab my Juvia's Place lip liner in the color Cola. So we're just gonna go ahead and line the lips. Sometimes I'll take it on the edge and just go in a little bit. Then I'm gonna apply just a little bit of lip gloss today. So for lip gloss, it was a toss up between the Juvia's Place um, Legit Nude and then the ColourPop Luke's Gloss in Cross Street. I think I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place. I like how this looks. A lot of times a new lip will go with any look because it is nude. So a lot of times you can make it work with any look that you choose to go with. But yeah, I am liking the look, you guys. What do you guys think? Are you liking the eye color? How do you feel that the Love Notes palette worked? I know that since the palette has came out a little earlier this month, there has been a lot of mixed reviews, but overall, a lot of people like the Beauty Bay formula. So a lot of people feel that it's still a good palette because of the formula of the eyeshadows. Well, I'm gonna go ahead, finish up, and I'm gonna come out and end this video. So do stick around, okay? All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. This is the final makeup look for today. I've Taking my hair down, added a little jerry just so you can see how it all comes together. If you enjoyed my video today with me playing in a little bit of makeup with my new eyeshadow palette, Love Notes by Beauty Bay, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and turn on your notification bell so that you won't miss an upload from me. Until the next time, I hope you stay safe, have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.